I just wanted to talk about having an ego in medicine. For me, I feel like I'm not somebody who used to have an ego until I became like a professional StarCraft player. I mean, how else can you make YouTube videos without having some sort of like narcissistic quality to it, to be honest? But honestly, having a healthy amount of ego, I think is very helpful. It's just hard in residency because when you have an ego and then you feel like the quality of your work is not living up to the standard that you feel like is appropriate for yourself, um, it can kind of present a contradiction that makes you feel really uneasy and dissatisfied and feeling like you're not doing a good job all the time. The other thing is that even though I do think highly of myself, I also still don't feel like I'm at the point where I can be confident um, with a lot of the decisions I'm making and that's also something that's been really tough for me. There's some co-residents that you'll work with that just seem to be confident all the time no matter what, they just seem to know the answer. I really think it's a kind of fake it until you make it kind of thing, but it's something that I wish I could be more self-confident like that. You know, deep down I wonder, do they really truly feel that confident when they're saying things just like, man, they're just, I'm like, wow, they're so, they're just so confident. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I'm like, I don't feel that way at all. When I say something, I kind of always hedge it like, you know, maybe we can consider doing this, maybe we can consider doing that. It's really tough to, to portray that sense of confidence in residency when we're still learning so much stuff. But I'm really hoping that we can trust in the process and continue growing and learning more and so we develop that confidence naturally. Um, but I do have to say I am pretty envious of those people who just naturally seem to have that sense of confidence just from the get-go.